Hi guys, I am back. Um, so this is the video I think probably a bunch of people wanted to see. All three of you that are viewing my videos. But still, I'm excited to give it to you. We are going to fight a dragon in this video. So, made a little list of things to do and we're going to hopefully get some stuff done. So, first things first, we're going to go to the Rift in Stables. Oh, I'm having some type of visual bug with my map, as you guys can see. Weird. Okay. Rift in Stables, go. So, the reason we're going to the Stables and not to Riften is because I want to see if... Ah, the Khajiit are here. Yeah, I want to see if the Caravan was here. And if they are, I want to buy some more moon sugar. Where in the heck is Rasad? There he is. So oh, Akari instead. Okay. Um, make sure I have my better business amulet on or whatever the uh, shrine of Zenithar. Amulet of Zenithar. Okay. Let's buy some more moon sugar. They always have moon sugar. So this person has four moon sugar. Sweet. Uh, I'm not going to sell them anything back just because I'll get better prices when I go into town and do some other things. I just didn't want to miss them. Oh, Shadier has a gift for me. She gave me he gave me a potion and a minor stamina because we're buds. Sometimes when you're buds with people, like you help people out, they just kind of give you stuff randomly like that. So he gave me a minor stamina potion. He really broke the bank for me. All right, I'm gonna put the wabby that way. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh not the bee in the barb. I shouldn't have walked in here. Sorry, folks. I'm supposed to go to Hayago's monk house. And another visual bug? Man. Hopefully this isn't, uh, video doesn't get wrecked by visual bugs, guys. Okay. Helga's Bunkhouse is where we want to go. I want to go tag the Shrine of Bella because I got a lot of stuff to sell. There we go. It's a fine day with you around. Yeah, it is. Alright. Boom. All diseases cured in case I did get a taxia from a skeever or something. And we're going to go give the beggar a coin. And, uh, do a little bit of buying and selling of stuff. What's up, Snelf? You can have it this time. Nuts to add, I had to consider over there. I don't care. Hi, Groka. Groka's my girl. So we're going to train more, four more, five more times in light armor. And this will give us light armor 40, which will allow us to, uh... Now we can level up. This will allow us to put in another perk into, uh... Light armor where we need to. I'm going to put the health again. Um... I do need more Magicka, and I know I've been having Magicka problems, but I can always put to that as we level up further. So, we're going to go and find Light Armor. Where is Light Armor? Okay, I've been to the tree three times, guys. Where's Light Armor? There it is. Light Armor 40. Now we can put to this one. Boom. Agile Defender 3. Nice. Oh, we're really close to 10. So, means we have to do it big here. Okay, so, now our armor rating is 194. Look at that, almost 200 and we're only level 9. Alright, we'll sell some stuff back to Groka to try to get some of our money back. Um, some of the stuff we got from, uh, I'm sorry, I'm spacing out. Iron Bind Barrel. Uh, Orc Stagger of Gleaming. Mm, no. We're not going to sell that. I should have actually stashed that somewhere. Um, yeah, we'll go to that too. She still has three thousand dollars of ours. Wow, that skill training got expensive. That's okay though. It's worth it in the end. Uh, I want the frost resistance uh, enchantment just in case we make something later. Um, necklace of minor stamina. Yeah, that can stay. Ring of minor health. Ice race essence. Get rid of all this junk that we don't need. Oh, we're getting there. Probably have some gems too. Yeah, here we go. Oh darn! Don't level me up. Oh gosh. All right. So we're gonna be officially going in at level ten. <sighs> Just hang on to the rest of this. Alright, I'm just gonna level up. I'm not gonna do any skill training this level. It's fine. I don't want to. Um, health. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to spend more gold, I understand. 
All right, how much do I carry? 136. All right, that's more than enough. I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna be collecting that that much stuff. Obviously, it's ideal to be completely empty for going on a lot of business like this, but it's not a big deal. So we're gonna buy some stuff from Melinda here. I want. What do I want here? I want lesser ward, the cheap ward. I have greater ward, and it's just like really expensive, and I can't afford to cast anything while I have it out. And then I just want to get some smaller soul gems if they have any. Some empty ones. Cheap ones. Because we're cheap. Ooh, they even got a common. Take a common. Never know what we might need here. Uh, what will you buy back? Buy any of this stuff back? Just soul gems. And some book. Alright. So we still have 9,000 gold. So it's not that big of a deal that we spent all that. Um, but we are level 10 now. So this is the time I said I wanted to fight a dragon. So we're going to do it. Oh, I just learned reanimate corpse. I didn't really need that. Okay, restoration. Lesser ward. We're going to set lesser ward to 3 because I feel like I'm going to be using it. Um, so I think this is how we're going to set this up, guys. Is we're going to have lesser ward on this hand. Like this. Because I can actually cast that. And then the wabbajack on the other. So when I'm casting this, it'll up my armor rating to 234. That's actually a little respectable, considering I'm level 10. Alrighty. I've been looking for you. Oh, letter from a Yarl. Yeah. As soon as you hit level 10, I believe a uh, courier will come give you a letter from a Yarl wanting you to build a, a house in Falkreath. Obviously not very interested. I don't want to build a house in Falkreath. Um, See for yourself. Building a house takes expensive. It takes a lot of time. Do I have anything to sell this guy? Stamina. No. Alright, I'm actually going to give some stuff to Teller and Sarah. He's proficient in one-handed. So me giving him this uh, fiery soul thing isn't really effect is super efficient. But he'll use it, so it's fine. Um, it'll be better when I enchant some stuff for him. I'm going to give him a lesser soul gem in case he traps a lesser soul and a petty... Oh, these ones are filled. And a petty soul gem in case he tries to trap a petty soul. And I got a couple common. There's a common for him. I'll give him a black one too, just in case he tries to trap a black soul. Okay. Oh, he didn't put it on, so I think I need to take this other weapon from him and then he will put it on. Yeah, give me that and that. And that. There he is. Now he's got the Battle Axe of Fiery Souls out. Thanks for that, Clark. Okay. So, carry weight, 134. Still not too bad. Um, I probably should have stashed some of this back at Sadri's place, but I'm not super concerned right now. Oh, still with this visual bug. This is so weird. Probably need to restart Skyrim, but I'm not going to do that right now. So, we're going to head to... Hmm. Where should I go? Now we're just gonna we're just gonna go right to Bleak Falls Barrow now, I think. We're gonna head right over there. Um so now that we have there's my horse, hi buddy. What time is it? Okay, I'm actually gonna wait eleven hours. I wanna wait till business time. So I wanna go into the Riverwood Trader and into uh the Sleeping Giant Inn. And well not the Riverwood Trader, actually, just the Sleeping Giant Inn and do some business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you hit level 10, that dude starts, uh, Durak starts walking around. And, oh, Riverwood Trader. Sorry, guys, I went to the wrong one. And he starts blabbing about joining the Dawn Guard. We're not going to be joining the Dawn Guard right now. If at all. I'm not a big fan of the Dawn Guard or the Dawn Guard quest line. Alright, so, we're going to run in here. Yeah, nice visual book. Talk to Orgnar, see what he's got for sale. I was hoping he'd have some eat our cheese wheels, but he does not have any. There's one right there. I could steal it, but I don't really want to steal it. Okay. Unless... I wonder if... Oh. She doesn't share. I, wonder, I wondered if she had her own inventory. But in reality, if she did sell stuff, she probably would share inventories. Alright. Ooh, there's a wrench. So. How charged is the Wabajack? Not terrible. Not the best, though. But we are extremely far from leveling up to level 11, so I'm not super concerned about running and, you know, and all of a sudden leveling up and being 11 when I didn't want to be. 
So we're gonna put one in this restoration perk because we're gonna be using restoration. We're gonna put one in this conjuration perk. And right now I'm just gonna hang on to this other one. I don't know what I wanna do with it. But this is gonna make uh, casting that ward a lot cheaper. See? So now I can have that up and I can wabajack people while I'm doing it. It's gonna be kinda cool. And then uh, my soul trap is gonna be substantially cheaper. As you guys know, in my last video I had a lot of trouble trapping souls. Oh, get on the horse. So, time to go get the Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow. <laughs> So Bleak Falls, Bleak Falls Barrow is just right here. Nice and close. Nice and close. There's some bandits here, and I would love to trap one of their souls or two of their souls um, in these black soul gems that I got from Gathric. It'd be super nice. Um, no guarantees I'm going to be able to do that. Um, it all just depends on where they're at and stuff like that. Um, although there is a couple bandits right on the outside and on the inside, so I could get lucky and uh, catch the ones on the inside, like uh, kind of sneak attack them. Get them with the soul trap. Um... Wabajack's doing good. Oh, wow. My Staff Storm Atronach has no charge. I should have bought a better Soul Gem for that thing. I'm going to need that. It's going to be really important for pretty much everything we do. I'm going to wait an hour. I want uh, Teldrin to catch up. Where is he? Tell oh, is that him? No, it's a bunny. Teldrin. So this guy's just lost to the world. Alright, whatever. We're going to head forward without him. Um, We'll figure that out after. But I shouldn't be in too much trouble sneaking around here. One quick save, just in case. I believe there can be some bandits in this part of this area. Um, hopefully Teldrin follows me into the temple, because I'm... I need Teldrin Saro inside the, uh... Inside the temple, for sure. I bet you he's just stuck inside a house somewhere. Oh, here we go. This guy's not happy. Well, come not be happy against my Storm Atronach. Boom! Soul Trap. So now, as you guys will be able to see, we have a Grand Soul in that Black Soul Gem. So, I am not going to be able to trap this guy's soul because Teldrin has the other Soul Gem and he is nowhere to be found. Um, where's this guy? Oh, Storm Atronach destroyed him. Cool. Cool, piece of gate. So, like I've been always saying this whole time, Storm Atronach is incredibly powerful, guys. Uh, you know, it just nuked those guys in a couple hits each. Obviously, I uh, blasted one of them with the uh, the Wabajack, but, you know. We got up here. Oh, is it? Oh. Did I just turn that thing into a mud crab? Is that what just happened? Wait, what just happened? What is going on here? This is so bizarre. Oh, I healed him. Cool. Uh oh. Boom. Dead. That was an outlaw, so he's a little stronger. But my armor rating actually did pretty good there. You guys saw me take a couple swings, and uh, I barely took damage. I also got an absorb health hit, I think, one time there. Because I think I'm at full health. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm already almost full. Okay, Teldrin. I really need Teldrin's arrow to appear here. Hopefully he shows up. If he doesn't, I might have to just, like, find the console command and bring him here. Because this isn't going to be very easy without him. Maybe I'll try, actually, before I head into Bleak Falls Barrow, guys. I'm just going to fast travel to Riverwood, and then uh, I have the fast travel point to Bleak Falls now, and I'll fast travel back. I'm just going to see if he got jammed up somewhere. Oh, Because I, I, I need Teldon Sarah. Was he with me inside? There he is. See? He just got jammed up at the Riverwood Trader. I mean, at the Sleeping Giant Inn. For no goddamn reason, because... I didn't even fast travel to Bleak Falls Barrow. I came out of the Sleeping Giant Inn and rode. So he was just standing outside, all wedged against a wall. What's our next move? Yeah, I need to trade some junk with you. Take uh, take some of this apparel, because this, stuff, this stuff's heavy. Iron, 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 iron. I need to take this stuff, so whatever. Sure. 
Alright. I didn't want to give him any weapons because he might use them over what he currently is using, which is the Steel Battle Axe of Fiery Souls. I'm actually just going to take his Soul Gem. I got mine filled pretty easily, so I'm going to take his too. His Black Soul Gem. Because I think there's some bandits up here, and I think, I think I'm going to be able to trap them again. So here we go. I don't expect me to miss uh, one of these. I think I hit that person, so... Damn, it's a visual bug. It's like the sunlight. Oh, that hurts. Boom. Oh, I didn't get that soul? What? Oh. Why is this spell so expensive? I'm just going to run through this. Okay. I'm pretty sure I hit him with that spell. It was worth running through him to hit him, I think. Oh, what I do? Oh, I created a chicken. Okay, cool. Get him, team. Come on. Get this guy. Ow. Storm Atronox just stuck over there. Come on, get this guy. I just soul trapped him. Kill him. God. Sometimes your team is just not what you need. I still seriously not have enough to cast this. This is crazy. I even got the perk for it. Oh my god, and then I missed him. Okay, whatever. I'm done trying on this guy. Come on, Frost. Get him. Come on, Teldrin. Get up here. Oh my god. I don't want to use all my Wabajack charges. I only have so many soul gems. Come on. There, his Storm Atronach. A Flame Atronach at least shooting. There we go. Finish him. Thank you, team. Jeez. It's like pulling teeth with these guys. Okay. Um, I think there's a third guy over here that they were fighting initially somewhere. Um, okay, I don't see him. Whatever. We're done. We're moving on. Um, so there is two bandits inside, I'm pretty sure, right inside this door. So I'm going to try to sneak up and soul trap one of those guys. That's the goal. That's the goal is to get one of those souls. So we have two black souls right now. And then, right after we're done Bleak Falls, guys, we're going back to the Arrow, and we're going Dragon Rising. Okay, come on, motherfucker. Actually, I guess it's probably just better just to aggro these guys, because it's going to be a lot easier to grab their souls when they're running at me. Sneaking up on them is not really going to work too well, so I'm going to run up to them and just uh, get them going. Okay, that guy got hit. I don't care what anybody says. Boom. Boom. Soul captured. Two black grand soul gems. Ha ha ha. Okay. Where's the other guy? There's another guy. Get him, Teldra. Search these skeevers. One cool thing about the Wabajack is it shoots, like, super far away. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> Easy. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll pick this. I want some stuff out of this. Actually, it's going to level up my lockpicking. Screw it. I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to kill a dragon when I am level 10, not level 10 in like a, a half. Well, not, you know, not in a half, but I mean like not sitting at level 11, just waiting to go to my top screen. Okay. I'm going to save here just because there could be traps and stuff. Man, these visual bugs are crazy looking, guys. These are crazy. Um, yeah. If this gets really bad at the dragon scene, I might restart and just immediately try to splice the video or something together. I'm not very good at that kind of thing, so, you know, don't quote me on it that I can do that. But the Dragon Rising video is coming today, guys. It's coming right now, right after this one at some point. I just don't want to get a crappy looking video of the whole dragon fight. Getting a lot of skeever tails. Skeever tails can be good for stuff. Good for poisons. Good for cured disease potions, I feel like, for some reason. The tail of the skeever cures you? I don't know. It's good to get a healing potion there. I'm going to pull my ward out here. I believe there's some skeevers or something up here somewhere. Some draugr, probably, for sure. Oh, this guy. Yeah. So this guy, uh, 
This guy runs up and gets marked by the uh, the trap. He's like, hey, let me just uh, nail this thing. Oh, you dead. What? <laughs> I had like a delayed death scene. That's funny. All right, Bandit Thug, 55 gold, money. So the combo here, guys, is one of these puzzle traps. It's snake, snake, whale. Snake, snake, whale. Snake, snake, whale. Whale. Let me just go, you tag this thing and back up. Boom, done. Okay. Anybody here ever play the uh, original Resident Evil for... Uh, I played it for PlayStation, but I think it was for PC and stuff too. But the uh, in the original Resident Evil, they had these books that were very similar to this, called the Doom books. And the only way to uh, get the key inside them was to pick it up and hold the book sideways, so you're looking right at its uh, right at the pages, and then to analyze it or whatever to like you know check. And uh, it was super annoying because. Uh, it was the only way to like progress, and if you had just looked at the book at the front of the back, it didn't uh, didn't show anything. But you had to do it that way. So this is gonna be really annoying. I think they're like the skeevers are on these stairs somewhere. Yeah. So this is gonna be kind of a pain because I need Teldrin to like kill them because I don't kill stuff really. I could wabajack them, but like I don't want to waste my wabajack right now, even though this is what I'm here to do. But got a soul trap there though. Okay. Where's the other ones? Come here. I think I missed that guy. Yeah, I missed that one. Darn. Get the next one. Well, I won't get the next one because I don't have any. I think there's a paralysis poison here. Yeah. yeah. These visual bugs are really weird, guys. Sorry about this. I hope this isn't coming from the unofficial patch or something. There's the other skeever. I wonder if I can wait him out. If he'll let me get enough magicka. Oh, no. The flame action is going to kill him. Okay, I don't care that much. Come on. Kill that thing, guys. There are a bunch of goons. Kill it. Okay. So there is a giant spider here. Um, in uh, in here, there's a giant spider. So, do I have a weapon? I do. Let's slash this down. Okay. So I am going to try to trap the giant spider soul. As soon as Teldrin catches up with me, I'm going to try to trap the giant spider soul. Because I would like him here to help me with this fight. Because this guy, this spider is big. Get him. Get him, Teldrin. Get him, Delvin. There we go. I think I got the uh, the soul trap on it. Yeah, I almost definitely did. Wow, they tried to reach back here and nail me. There we go. Oh, the Wabajack needs charging. Needs charging, not acceptable to not have. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> it's just trying, it's trying to use my black soul gem. I want to really make sure it doesn't use it. Quick petty, okay. Nail it. Kill it. You only have a minute to kill it from the time. Come on. Oh, of course. It's a... Freaking mug crab. See, I think... I think that resets my soul trap on it. Which is, like, super annoying. I'm just gonna let Teldrin and uh, the flame action not finish it off. Because I want the soul trap, and I don't want to screw it up. There we go. Woohoo! Soul trap! Decimated corpse. So there's some spider's eggs over here. I'm gonna grab these. So this is Arvel the Swift. Trapped up here in this junk up by my giant visual bug that's going on here. Um, Arvel has the golden cloth, which is what we're here for. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut him down. Bye, buddy. And he's gonna take off. Hey, why 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 would she, why would she share the treasure with anyone? I'm just gonna let him go because I don't really care. I don't want to fight him. Um, I don't need to fight him. I'll let him just take off. Bye, buddy. So. He's going to take off, and uh, a trap up ahead is actually going to finish him off, I believe. Or some Draugr. Something kills him, so I don't have to worry about chasing him down. Um, I, I, I Obviously, initially, everyone's like, oh, no, we can't let it, uh, we can't let him get away. We can't let him get away. So, but uh, I believe he gets killed up here by some trap. Um, so now it says, re retrieve the Golden Claw. So I think he's just, yeah, he's just running along up here. I don't know why I have this out. So he's he's fighting some Draugr. Cool. You have fun with that, buddy. I'm gonna trap some souls while you're doing this. Nice. I'm gonna get at least one of these. Oh. Boom, got one. 
Dude, this Storm Atronach is just a monster. Oh, okay. Come here, Teldron. I need you to pick up some stuff. <laughs> so, I have the, uh, the Golden Claw now. Yeah, so what I'm probably going to do, guys, is directly after this, um, when I'm done Bleed Falls Barrow and I travel back to Riverwood or whatever, I'm going to cut the video and I'm going to make another one because I'm going to fix this visual bug. And I'll just upload them separately. Just to get done. Or I'll try to splice them together. Um, you know, not my expertise. I'm not very good at video editing. What is weighing me down so much? It's weapons, but I don't want to give this guy any weapons he's going to want to use because he's going to use them over the one I want him to use. Whatever. Wow, I am really overloaded. This is crazy. Okay. Oh no, he's still got the Steel Battle Axe Fire Souls out. Okay, cool. Okay. I just can't believe I just picked up another Steel Armor off that thing. That's crazy. This is going to give me, which is a bonus, guys. It's going to give me a lot of stuff to sell. Um, this trap will kill you. Almost definitely. See? Come on through. So this guy's going to wake up and he's going to be pissed. Yeah, kill that guy. Okay, I'm going to soul trap him while he's sleeping. Boom. Wake him up. Get him, team. So good. Teldrin's actually chopping at him. Oh, he's using like an iron battle axe or something, though. So Teldrin's arrow is proficient in one-handed. So he's preferring to use his one-handed weapon instead of the soul trapping one. But it's fine. It doesn't really matter at this point. Um, we're past uh, Speltum Oak Flesh. I'm not using Alteration, but still. We're past some of the troublesome stuff. I'm not too, too worried right now. Oh, some more Draugr here. Trap some more souls. Come on, team. Oh, wow, another one. All right, let's Wabajack somebody. Somebody's getting Wabajacked here. This guy. He's gonna eat it. Dead. <laughs> Nuked. Yeah, all these heavy weapons that they're giving me are weighing me down a lot. Come on. Stop using that thing. Use the Steel Battle Axe of Fiery Souls. You kill these guys so fast. Or the War Axe of Fiery Souls. Okay. I'm sure at some point in this run, guys, we will get uh, the Black Star. Oh my god, I'm full again. So if you guys don't know what the Black Star is, it is a reusable soul gem. By reusable soul gem, I mean... Oh wow, even Teldrin's full now. I have to start pick, stop picking up these uh, heavy items. Um, these heavy weapons. Um, a reusable soul gem. So, what it does... Oh, this guy's still... So we got another guy here. So, it's a reusable soul gem that you can fill multiple times. Um, and, uh, so I'm trapping some souls here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring out the storm after and I can kill this guy. Um, you can use it multiple times and refill it and stuff. It's a daedric artifact. It can be kind of a, it's kind of a difficult quest sometimes, though, so you gotta be careful just, uh, going into it. I, I thought about doing it before all this, but it would level us up a lot and it would take a long time. Oh, I don't want that sword. I'm gonna put that sword back. Take that sword. It weighs way too much, man. What else do I have on me that's so freaking heavy? Iron shield can go. There, I have 70 carry weight left over. Those, like, Nordic weapons are just so heavy, it's nuts. Uh, there's a chest up here. Do I have to pick it to get into it? I don't really want to level up my lock picking right now. Yeah, screw that. Screw that noise. Alright. So we have some trap here. I'm gonna save before it in case I somehow manage to kill myself doing it. Whoa. That hurt greatly. Okay. We're heading through here. Uh, I'm going to try to creep around here. Yeah, there's going to be some Draugr here, unfortunately. But my Storm Atronach's still here, so I should be able to just... Uh, nail them. Get him, Storm Atronach. Kill him. Perfect. Easy soul. So we're getting lots of souls, so this is good. This is definitely good. Excuse me, team... Goon Squad, whatever you guys, whatever I want to call you guys. Oh, so we're not going to make this mistake again, ladies and gentlemen. We nailed that guy. So there's a, there's a pot up there that if it falls down, it'll shoot fire everywhere. Um, yeah, we're probably going to, we're probably going to ignite that. We'll, I don't think it's going to kill Teldrin, but it might. Oh, does the Wabajack have no charges? Oh, man. Wabajack is running out of charges. I'm not using a black soul gem. Stop. There it goes. <laughs> Teldrin's getting lit up, but he's not dying, so it's okay. I'm gonna wait till this fire dissipates before I do anything. 
He's actually wrecking these guys. Oh, did I nail him? I think I did. Yeah! Look at that. Trapping souls all day. All day. Look, that guy even gave me a soul gem. Sweet. Okay, cool. Come on, Teldrin. You can kill this guy, can't you? Oh my god. Teldrin's being a little bit of a vag. Oh, I turned him... I didn't turn him into a chicken. I created a chicken. I feel like that's a visual bug, too. I feel like I should be turning him into a chicken, not creating a chicken. But, whatever. Sometimes I wish I could deal damage. Ooh, actually. I almost forgot I had some illusion spells. Yeah, I wonder if I could use fear on these guys if they'd run off. Probably. We're only level 10, so they gotta be under level 9. I'm sorry to make you guys wait a little bit. I just don't want to run out of soul gems. <sighs> Probably just picked up a heavy weapon off this guy. Yeah. But all in all, I think that went really well. We got a lot of souls. And uh, we're getting close to the uh, the end of this area. Come on, Teldrin. I gotta charge my staff of Storm Atronach. I almost want to give Teldrin's arrow my Grand Soul Gems. Oh, man. More enemies. Restless Draugr. There you go, Teldrin. Do you want me to Wabbajack him once for you? There we go. That hurt him. I wonder if I use Calm on this guy, if Teldrin will continue to hostile him. Come on. I have... I just never have enough Magicka, it feels like. Alright, he's gonna be dead before I can use combo. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There's that. Do I have to pick this? Oh, nice. Free chest I don't have to pick, finally. Um, is there anything else in here? Anything behind the waterfall? Sometimes there's stuff behind waterfalls, guys. <laughs> We're getting pretty close to the end of the Bleak Falls Barrow, I think. Oh, yeah. Hey, glowing mushroom. Glowing mushroom is a very useful alchemy ingredient that doesn't actually spawn everywhere. I forgot how big this area was. Bleak Falls Barrow is actually a very large Nordic ruin. There's a lot of junk in here. Should be more glowing mushrooms and a chest up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have some scrolls too that I could consider using if I'm in a if I'm in a pinch. Children caught up with me. Okay. There's almost certainly an enemy around this corner. Um, I feel like I'm used to it being a troll, but it's probably not a troll. We're at low level. There's definitely not a troll waiting for us here. If there was, that would really suck. Trolls are strong. No, it's just a Draugr. Okay, come here, Draugr. I'm gonna trap your soul. Got him. Oh, it's a restless Draugr, too. I'm gonna put Calm on three right now, or on my right click, or my left click. I wanna see if I can use it on this guy and if Teldrin will still mess him up. Hey, use your destruction spells. I should just take all your weapons away. Man, this costs so much magicka. I put one into illusion, didn't I? Did I not put one into my uh, level one illusion, guys? Oh, I didn't. Figured it out. It's still crazy expensive. Hundred and oh, it's an apprentice spell. That's why I thought it was a novice spell. Sorry, sorry, guys. Get him, Teldrin. I'm just gonna trap his soul again to make sure I get it. Although I think it's a minute I have. Yeah, I'm not gonna actually do it. That's probably fine. There you go. Flame Atronach. Boom. Free soul. Yeah, not taking any of that stuff. That's all the junk's way too freaking heavy. I think there's just some items down here or something. Dead Skeever. A chest. Skeleton. The chest I have to pick. Yeah, not doing that. Not picking, pick, lock picking any chests right now. We're staying at level 10 for the dragon. So, the first dragon that spawns, I believe the minimum level is level 10. So, being at level... Well, not, not the minimum level you have to be, but his minimum level that he can spawn is level 10. So, we have to... Being level 10 is probably, I guess, pretty ideal. I, did, I didn't actually know that until today. But So, I feel like there's going to be a bunch of enemies in here. This is like an area that's going to be full of enemies. Oh, no. This looks like we're almost at the end. Come on, Teldrin. Catch up. So this guy looks like kind of a baddie, so we're gonna... we're gonna, Yeah, he's a restless dragger. We're gonna drop this thing off. Huh? Boom. Yeah, there you go. 
between oh the storm astronaut got he got way backed up but between all everybody we have here we should be good boom another trap soul uh chest free chest do i have to pick it ah the fourth chest i haven't been able to bleak falls sanctum okay we're almost at the end here friends By the way, please, if anybody can, please comment and tell me if there's stuff you guys want to see, any ideas for further walkthroughs, because, you know, I'm not saying this is going to just end all of a sudden, but uh, if it does just randomly end, oh man, this looks dirty. This is like a really dirty room to be in. Where's the chain? Okay. Um... Is there any videos you guys want to see in the future? You know, like, this isn't going to end all of a sudden, but, uh... You know, you never know. I do always need ideas for more stuff to do. Is the here? Okay, good. Gotta watch out, because there's still fire here. Yeah, see? <laughs> that could, that would have killed me, probably. Well, actually, I don't know. I have a lot of magic resistance now that I have all my stuff. My final gears all figured out. Or not final gears, but... You know, I got some decent stuff figured out, so... Alright, the team, the goon squad's out there. Yeah, yeah, they're making, making mincemeat of these dorks. Oh, that's the same one. Oh, same one, okay, whatever. Anything else down here? Alright, that was easy. <laughs> so, hopefully, this last boss fight goes well. Having the Wabajack on my side is really, really good. Um, I'm going to explain a little later. A little bit more. Again, always learning more about the Wabajack. It's kind of like my thing. Oh, here we go. So, this is the puzzle door. Oh, it's got the ominous music. So, this is the puzzle door that the Golden Claw goes in. Um, this is kind of why I was talking about how you have to look at it at a specific way. Because when you looked at the Doom books in Resident Evil, you have to go like this to look at this. So, it's Bear, Moth, Owl. So... Turn these a couple times, so nope. Turn that. So bear, moth, and it looks like, yeah, it looks like two turns for each one. Hey, there's Teldrin, and I think this is the baddie room. We are at the boss, the boss monster. So this guy's gonna get messed up, and I'm not even kidding. We're gonna, we're gonna give this guy the fucking hands. All right. We're gonna quick save anyways. Because, oh, ominous bats. Stupid visual glitches. I don't know what's going on. My graphics card's fine. I probably just needs to be restarted, but unfortunately, I don't know how good I am at splicing videos to restart this. And I'd rather restart at the end of the dungeon. So as soon as we grab this word wall, this dude's getting out of this chest. So I'm going to put the storm astronaut right there. Get the wabajack out. Got soul trap on deck. Boom. So this guy wants up, I'm going to pop him with Soul Trap, and we're going to back up, and him, him and Teldrin are going to have words, and I'm going to wabajack him into the next dimension. Oh god, he's a, I don't want him to be a Tremora. Okay, he's back to himself. Oh, I, come on, the odds of him turning into a Tremora are so, like, they're not minimal, but they're not really that high. Oh wow, okay, he took a ton of damage there from whatever I did to him. Alright, there we go, we wabajacked this guy good. He better run. You can't escape. Give me your so Oh, I forgot that turning him into Dramora resets the soul trap. Here's what we're here for. The drag the dragon stone the bleak falls barrel. This guy also always has a weapon that has golden chant on it, so for some reason you guys really need the golden chant, you can come here and get it. And the boss chest. Amethyst high shield, how much does that weigh? Four? I can take that. How much is this thing weigh? Ten? Alright, we can take all this. We got enough. We got enough. And then there's potions, some soul gems. I believe there's another chest over here, but I think I have to pick it again, and I don't, I'm not interested in lockpicking anything. Yeah, there's a chest somewhere. There's a chest somewhere in this, right there. There it is. <laughs> this visual bug is in Oh, no, I don't have to lockpick it. Nice. Oh, a filled lesser soul gem, too. Bonus. Okay. So, we're done this. Cheese it out of here. Um, like most Skyrim dungeons, there's a back, end, a back exit to get us out of here. So, we'll get out of here, and we will head back to Dragon's Reach. And talk to Farangar and give him the Dragonstone and, you know, so on and so forth. 
If only I had wings, I could have just jumped up there earlier. Well, actually, no, this isn't one of the ones where there's an earlier. Sorry. Ooh, mountain flowers. I like mountain flowers. I never noticed those mountain flowers there before. I also don't really pay attention in the Bleak Falls Barrow quest, though. It's kind of a standard one. Yeah, see, like, we're halfway to 11 already. I'm not 11, ending up at 11. So, fast travel to Dragon's Reach. Alright, guys, I'm going to cut the video here, and I'm going to try to restart Skyrim. I'm going to try to splice in this other video that I'm going to make. I'm going to make it right now, so it's not like you guys aren't going to get it. And hopefully I can upload them as one. If not, expect a second upload immediately after this one.